Hi everybody, if you're interested in knowing how to upgrade your computer with uh, new RAM chips, then this is the video for you. So stick around and uh, I'll show you how. So first thing to do, safety first, and switch off the power to your PC. Switch off the power and then remove the main cable from the wall. Then just to be safe, remove the power cable from the back. And then while you're there, remove all the other cables like monitor and mouse and keyboard cables and uh, any Ethernet cables. So the next thing you want to do is open up the PC so that we can get access to the memory chips. So just have a little look around and see where your removable panel is. You can see here I've got a little catch on mine. So if I just lay that down, let's just focus you in a bit better. And then you can just pull the clip and then just remove. And then if we just take a quick look inside, you can see just down in there, if I zoom in a bit, there are my RAM chips in there. So I'm gonna to need to take a few bits and pieces out. Your PC may be different, but these are easily uh, click and remove with these little blue uh, adapters here. So I'll just take these off and then we can have a look at the RAM slots. Okay, so you can now see I've got access to the memory slots. So if I just zoom in there, you can see that there's two memory uh, boards already in and then I've got two spare rails in there. Now before you go ahead and touch anything, uh, the new RAM chips or the computer, you want to make sure you kind of discharge yourself of any static. So all you need to do really is touch the metal surround and that's good enough. Uh, you can wear dedicated um, electrostatic discharge uh, wristbands but I've been doing this for a long time and this is always good enough. So once you've done that, uh, you want to get your RAM uh, boards fitted. So here's one of the ones that I bought. So this is a DDR3 8 gig RAM chip. So you can see it's got eight 1 gig RAM chips. It's got 240 pins here. And you can see there's a little notch out of here. And there's a little corresponding notch in the DIN rail at the bottom. And that just ensures that they align properly let's just see if I can zoom in and you can see it so yeah so you can see just there you can see the little notches where your memory um, cutout will go uh, on your memory board so if you're just removing um, old memory and then going to replace it with an upgrade you can see on the side here so let's just zoom in a little bit and move around all you do is you push one of these little clips down like that and then similarly on the other side just push that down once that's done it pushes itself up and then that's come out so the one that's in there is actually a four gig uh, chip it's a Samsung one I've been sure to buy matching pairs so I'm um, to put this in let me just show you again you can't get the orientation wrong don't forget because of this little cutout so once you put it in just put one end in then gently just do that, just push one end in and then the other, and then just push equally spaced, just, just lightly down, and you can see that the clips just hold that in all by themselves. So these are the RAM cards that I'm gonna put into uh, for as part of the upgrade. So these, each one of these is eight gig. You do need to check uh, that your motherboard, what the maximum capacity of RAM it can take. Mine can take 32 gig. So you can have a maximum of eight gig in each slot, or you could just have two 16s, it all depends, um, but it's nice to have them balanced. So if you notice, both of these are Samsung, uh, they're both DDR3, eight gig, 1600 megahertz, 240 pin for the dim rails. The ones that are in there, same manufacturer, they're just four gig each. So for the moment, I'll have two lots of eight in this side, and then uh, a total of eight in the other side. So I've got 24, but I've got two more eights on order. But I just thought I'd show you the process of doing the upgrade. So all you need to do to install uh, the new RAM cards, first thing is to release the plastic retaining pins. Just pull them gently out. And then if I just zoom in a little bit, all you need to do, make sure you get the orientation the correct way round uh, for this locator pot pin. That's this way round for me and then go to the empty slot and then there's two little guide rails and then just push it down gently at each end and if you listen 
the little retaining lugs clip in place and hold it. So simple as that. So let's just do the other one again. So locate in the slot at each end, push it down nice and parallel. And then if you watch, you'll see the pins locate in place. So that's all there is to it. So all I need to do now is reassemble, switch on. When it powers up, it will configure itself and uh, you'll have your RAM upgrade. Hope you found that helpful. If you did, please consider subscribing and maybe even hitting that notification bell so we see each other in the next video. Take care, everybody.